record. Okay. Hi guys. All right. So I'm really excited for this boot camp. Like, um, we're kind of just going to like teach you exactly what we do on a daily basis. And obviously everybody works their businesses so differently, but that's why I kind of like had Jamie and Bailey and Allie, like all do this boot camp with me too. Like, so they're all going to be teaching you too. Um, that way you can see like the way we work our businesses, like the little differences we do have are just so like small. It won't even matter. Um, we all like have the same core, like standards of working our business. So, um, kind of like we're going to work you the way we work ourselves, you know, and that's like intense. So I'm really excited for this boot camp because like, we're going to work so hard, but by the time, like in December, you'll be done without a doubt. If you're working it every single day, the way that you're supposed to, and the way that we train you, you're going to be diamond by December. Um, but I do want to know like all of your like weaknesses and stuff like that. So we know like what to focus on and teaching you guys. So, um, if you just want to like jot it down for now and we, we could like discuss your weaknesses like later on, um, just go for it. But basically like I kind of want to go over like what to expect from this. So we're going to be like adding posts to it, um, posts that are going to boost your business. Um, so make sure you are like constantly checking up and like being plugged into this page. Um, cause there's going to be amazing advice and like, like I said, like a lot of the people didn't get into this boot camp because they didn't do, like they didn't fill out the form. So they're lost, you know, but um, you guys are going to have like a huge advantage to that. Um, but definitely like push yourselves. That's like the main part. Like I want you to just like, push so hard and like never give up. Like that's the, that's what sets people apart from being successful and non-successful is that people start to like, they'll push really hard a couple months and then they'll like start falling off the face of the earth or just giving up or don't believe in themselves enough. So, um, we want to like eliminate all of that problems, you know? Um, but you never, like a main point that I want to go over is like never make excuses. Like this page is not meant for excuses. So, um, turn your excuses into like your why and like push that, like make that your why. So, um, people saying like, they don't have time. Like we all know that that's a poor excuse. It's literally like Jade said it was the, what was it? It was like the adult excuse of my dog ate my homework. And I love that. Cause it's so true. Like we all have time. We just need to make a priority for what's important. So if you don't have time and you want to make time for yourself, maybe you don't like your job or you just want more time, like in school instead of working, um, that's what this business can do for you. It can completely replace your income, but you have to make it work. It's just going to be a lot of like intense work now, but if you stay consistent with that intense work, you will be diamond by December. And that's like an average of $2,000 a month. And, um, I was just telling them earlier, like we're not an average team, like we're an above average team. So, um, what's awesome about being an above average team is like our paychecks are always higher. Um, and it's just like we work like an above average team. So I'm gonna be taking like some tools from Jade Bootcamp, but she does work it so differently. Like her, she works her business so differently than we work our businesses. And um, our, I don't know how to say this, but our enrollments are up higher than Jade's right now. So I wanna definitely like ha use her tools to like help you guys. But like if you're not in her bootcamp, like don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. Um, and just kind of like explain how we work it. So um, there will be like videos I want you guys to watch or like if we post the live in there, just make sure you're like watching all the stuff. Um, and then there, there might be little homeworks here and there, but like nothing like intense, like write an essay or something like that. It's just like literally like you'll have 40 hours to complete it. Um, it's enough time and like Something as simple as, like, watching The Secret. Like, that's going to be your first homework assignment. So um, it's kind of just going to flow through into, like, what we're going to discuss in the future. Um, but what else? Okay. So maybe I should talk about the documents. Or, Jamie, do you want to go over goal setting? Um, you want to do documents first? Documents? Okay. 
Yeah, let me just like pull them up so I can have them in front of me. Okay, so Jamie added the document last night. She explained like what that was about, um, the loyal customer list, which is awesome. Like, let me just, it's like the loyal customer list, it kind of just like keeps you in line with what, like who you're enrolling, where you're placing them. That way, like if we're like, you can always follow up with them. It's easier to follow up with them if need be. Like if um, we have a BOGO sale or something, you know, you can just look back at this list and be like, okay, like, this girl was on weight loss. Maybe I can like help her, um, like get started on like the BOGO wraps or something. So that's definitely super helpful. And then there's a future LC list, which is all your potentials. And that's like a hundreds list, but it's kind of like redone to fit our, like the way we work the business. Um, so definitely like print these all out and utilize them. I did add the business budget, which Jade had in hers. Um, you guys can like just do this yourselves. It's, it's basically like self-explanatory, but um, it kind of just goes over like, like you never want to spend more than you make in this business. That's like for sure. And you don't have to spend more than you make. So it kind of just shows you like the bonus week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, the cash, the wrap cash you make. So it kind of just keeps you accountable with your budgeting, um, which I think is super helpful if you're like worried about all that stuff. Um, September documents is really what's going to help us all. And that's what Jade used too in her tools. So the first one, the first page of the September documents might be a little confusing at first, but we're going to go over affirmations like soon in our bootcamp page. So just keep an eye out for that. So I'll skip over that for now. But the loyal customers, you know, that's exactly what like Jamie put in there too, like the loyal customer sheet. Um, new distributor milestone tracker is like, it's just helpful for you to know where your else, your DTs are at. Cause like, I know with the $10 deal, like it just got so overwhelming, like so, it was just so crazy. And then now with the $500 shopping spree, like everyone's going to be enrolling distributors. So it's going to get overwhelming. So like having this new distributor, like milestone tracker, it'll just keep you like knowing of what, like where everyone's at. Um, and then it also has like, just like for help, just, like BV and all the products listed and like how much it is. Um, what else? Oh, it has Jade's stuff in here too. I didn't realize this page was on here. Okay. Don't worry about the September calendar unless you want to. And yeah, you basically just want to keep adding to your hundreds list every single day. So, um, that's what the last page is about. All right. Now do you want to go over goal setting, Jamie? Um, yeah. So, um, so when you start out in the business, you think, I thought at the beginning, like, yes, I was broke. Like I needed some way to make ends meet because I got paid once a month with teaching. Um, and I had no idea where like the second half of the month, like, how am I going to get to work? How am I not eating around the rest of the week? So, um, I just wanted three hundred extra dollars a month, but in all reality, if you see that bonus of $10,000 and you're like, I need to go diamond. Okay, so if diamond is your goal, you have to break it down. You can't just be like, I'm diamond. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to get there? Um, just because it can be really overwhelming if you keep telling yourself at the beginning of the month, like, I'm going diamond, and you don't have steps to get there. Um, because each month you're going to say you're going to go diamond, and then it's kind of like you say it, and then you don't effort, like, how do you even use the word, affirm it, that it's going to happen because you have no actions in place to get there, if that makes sense. Um, so if you, if you, the first thing that you want to make sure that you have is your charts. Um, charting is so, so important. And we're going to have a charting live to kind of go over those types of things. because I know it can be super, super confusing, um, but kind of understanding what you need that month, whether it's volume or whether it's distributors. So say you wanted to go Ruby and you needed 1400 in volume to go Ruby. Okay. So each week, you know that if there's four weeks in the month, you divide that 1400 
divided by four, that means your team, including you, needs to get 350 a week. All right? Between you and your team, you need to get 350 a week. You know, like you have that goal in your brain that that's what you're working for. You're working for that amount. Um, just like how if you want to go Ruby and you need one more distributor, know in your brain you need one more distributor to go Ruby. Um, so having goals set for yourself, um, short term and long term. Um, in middle school, we taught the kids like, okay, so in, in a seventh grader's mind, they're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to do better on my test. I'm going to get better grades. And we had to teach them SMART goals. Um, size, um, real, um, I don't even remember the acronym, but it was basically you can measure it, you can, um, you can, um, you measure, it's over a time span, um, it's realistic, it's not like, I'm going to move the Eiffel Tower 10,000 feet in two days, like, obviously that's not realistic, um, and something that you can measure. So having it in smaller steps can help you get there a lot faster than if you're just like, I'm going to go diamond tomorrow. What are you going to do to get there? Um, so that can even be like planning out your days. Um, Jade Hooper even suggests planning out your days. Um, so knowing that you're making time for your business every single day will make a difference in the long run. Because right now, even if no one texts you back, even if not a single person te like messages you back today, you planted a seed for 20 days later. But if you didn't take the time to send those 20 messages today, then you might not have that seed 20 days later. So know that you're making time every single day for your ultimate goal, as well as your monthly goal, as well as for your weekly goal. Does that make sense? So if you have questions about like what, what your goal should be for the week, or um, if you need help planning your day or understanding like, or having a heart, you have a hard time with like time management. I understand I drove an hour and a half to work. I worked nine hours. I was a teacher. I obviously drove an hour and a half back went right into planning, but I still found time to work my business. Um, so, and I went to the gym somewhere in there. Not very consistently, but that was hard. Um, but making time for your business is probably one of the biggest things to go, like setting goals that you can possibly ever do. Um, but if you need help with that, just reach out to your upline. We'll be more than happy to help you either like set goals for the week, for the month, whatever. Um, Sometimes you're not ambitious enough. Like sometimes you think, oh, I'm going to go executive by the end of the month. But we know in, in our hearts that you have the potential to go Ruby at the end of the month if you really, really push yourself hard. Um, because sometimes not knowing your goals, you kind of like, it's not that you're not trying to go diamond. It's like you almost think like, oh, well, I'm only worthy of executive this month. But you're really worthy of Ruby this month, or you're, you're like, I'm just going to go Ruby this month, but you can really go Emerald this month because you're charted and you just need volume. Um, so um, we kind of have like a little bit of an idea of like how to set goals. We can more than, we would be more than happy to help you guys set goals for the week. Definitely. If that's something like you guys need to focus on, like, again, like write it down because I definitely want to know all your weaknesses and stuff like that. So we know what to like work on. Um, <laughs> And, like, your business definitely should be a priority just because, like, this is for you. Like, you joined for your life, for your future. So, like, put time and effort and, like, some loving into your business because it's going to go so far in the future. And it's going to help you guys out. And, um, actually, I forgot to touch upon, like, this, like, this page is going to be awesome for, like, when we do add newbies because we're training them like the way we train ourselves, the way we work ourselves. So all they're going to know is like hard work, but I don't want to overwhelm them and add them straight into this like group page because, um, when you're new, it's really overwhelming. Um, so just take time, like maybe like feel them out and see how they are. Everyone's like going to be everyone's going to be so different. Like some people are going to be more overwhelmed than others, but just like kind of feel them out and see how they're doing. But I would say after like their first two LCs that they get, um, kind of keep talking to them. And if they're ready for the page, add them in, but I just don't want to scare any of them away. Um, but I really feel like this is going to be awesome for newbies too. And then what else do I have? Oh, running auto shipments. We really need to talk about auto shipments. 
So Bailey, do you want to go, you want to talk about auto shipments and how important they are? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Okay. So for auto shipments, I'm going to start with a story about myself because I thought it would help you guys no matter how embarrassing. So back in June of this year, I knew that I needed 150 PBV to get a paycheck and I kind of thought I did, but someone had canceled at the end of the month and I gave all my LCs away to all the people under me, which you're supposed to do, but I didn't think to cover myself. And because I didn't have an auto shipment going, I didn't get paid in June. And I was in Disney World at the time, so I blew all my money on stuff I didn't need. And then I remember I didn't get paid, and I remember calling Carly at Disney World. I was in tears because I didn't get paid that month, and I needed it for my bills. And that was a horrible time. So point of that being, um, I think auto shipments are great now. I'm obsessed with them. I run them every month. Um, I think it's pretty understandable if you can't run an 80 right away because I couldn't at first either. But if you can, that does save you a paycheck. And that also helps because it's going to help you promote faster. So you aren't going to have to keep six to eight, like four to six, six to eight, something like that for yourself. And you can give those away. And if you can do that, I mean, I started running an auto shipment like two, two months ago, maybe. And I went Ruby last month and I definitely wouldn't have if I had to keep some of those for myself, like it just wouldn't have happened. Um, it's nice because I don't have to worry about myself. I can just give them away. Um, and then like your executive too, um, like they wouldn't have promoted if they didn't have an auto shipment ran either. Mm -hmm. Um, it just kind of helps everything like move along quicker. Like you're going to promote faster. Your team's going to promote faster when they're running theirs because everyone's working on getting those LCs done. You know, you only need two LCs and an 80 BV auto shipment to be commission qualified for the month. So um, like two active ones. So even newbies, like I always just suggest running auto shipments. I know there's going to be people that can't afford it. Um, but you do get wraps in your kit. So sell the wraps for wrap cash and use that or the wrap rewards that you get after you get two LCs, you get $25 wraps. Um, use that for like your auto shipment. Um, you know, like Jade says it all the time. Like she literally had nothing. Like she couldn't even heat her house in the winter. Like there were taping sheets to like doors and stuff just to keep the air in and she still ran her auto shipment because she knew that her business was at stake if she didn't and then her like if her team wasn't running it either it like affects everybody's promotions and everything like her team didn't promote it just it just get, becomes a huge mess so I didn't mean to like interrupt Philly no I think that's a good point um I do actually like that you said that because part of it, I'm not saying everyone has to be this way, but another part of the reason that I run mine is because I love my uplines and I know that it's going to affect them and it's going to affect my downline. So it kind of goes beyond myself a little bit. But another point was it's good to be a product of the product. Like whenever I first started, I think it honestly took me about like, honestly, maybe three months before I tried any product at all. And I was making posts, they were all copy and pasted because I couldn't write anything. So that's what they were. And I think people could tell that because if someone ever asked me in person, I'd be like, oh, well, I don't know, but my customer is like blah, blah, blah. And people don't really wanna hear that from you. So <laughs> um, I think that makes posting a lot easier too, because now I still use some from the Diamond Boss Babe page if I'm like really stuck on time. But a lot of times I do mine ahead in drafts and I write my own. And if someone messages me, especially people like my warm market that I see in person, I can tell them what I think about it and be honest. And a bunch of people that I know personally have ordered since I started doing that. So I think that's good. Um, it's practicing what you preach physically. Um, I get on Instagram and I like... I guess it's misleading and people won't trust you if you're posting about physical health and how important it is, but you're not doing, does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Things, things changed after I joined, I guess. Like I think practicing what you preach and using what you talk about all the time, you know, 
like if you're going to talk to everyone like they're your best friend about the product it's going to help if you use the product so you know how good it is um yeah you come up with your own testimonies and just like your own views of it and like people do trust you more when you try the product out because then literally you can just be like oh my gosh it was amazing like it grew my hair out so quick like in my hair takes like three inches a year usually to grow but it was like one month like that was my testimony um i don't know just makes it more realistic yeah i think that helps with your downlines too because i remember um Brittany did a little bit but mainly having carly as an upline and seeing her use them help me to use them like it helps your downlines too whenever they feel like they can trust you too I feel like that's a thing um I think that I think that was all I had to say yeah um okay yeah so like oh crap this is gonna end in 10 minutes okay um basically like worst comes to worst I've actually had another distributor on my team like um in a promoting position and she had all four LCs, but she didn't run her auto shipment. And um, the last day of the month, we all know eSuite is unreliable, especially like the last week of the month, but um, they're just getting orders in and processing it. Just, it's just crazy. It's hard to keep up with everything. But um, so this girl actually didn't run her auto shipment. It was too late after this. She had 150 PBV. Um, it was probably like 150, like five or six or something like that. Um, and she thought she was fine. Like I thought she was fine, but we had a return order at the last day of the month. It showed up in eSuite the next month, like the next day, but, um, then it didn't show up in eSuite. So we all thought she was fine and she never made a paycheck and she was in a promoting position. Like that's something you don't want at all. Like, that's, that's so sad. Like, you're that close to promoting, and you just don't because of that. So, um, that's, like, worst comes to worst with running auto shipments. But what else should we talk about? Um, so, definitely homework. Make sure that you watch The Secret. Um, we're going to be talking about it and kind of, like, briefing on it. So, it's really important to watch that. Um, you have, like, 48 hours to watch that before we're talking about it. And then um, – maybe you can, you guys can submit, like, your questions in the, in the boot camp page if you want, or, like, anything you're struggling with, or, like, the weaknesses I was telling you guys about, like, feel free to, like, I, maybe I can, like, make a post about it, but, um, or you can, like, text any, any of us, or just, like, message any of us, um, but I don't know, I feel like, a lot of people are going to have struggles with the same thing anyway, so, like, don't be, like, nervous or worried about what people think. This is, like, a no-judgment zone. Um, what else? Is there anything else, guys? Um, no, um, just make sure you watch The Secret. Um, I just feel like it's super important, um, just coming back, coming from a, I don't know, like a really super negative mindset of like, I'm only, I'm just good enough. Like my best friend's dad used to call me almost good enough. Um, and in my brain, that was permanently implanted in my brain for so long. Like I'm just a little fish in a big pond, blah, blah, blah. Like I can only go so far, but each and every one of you has the potential. It's in, literally in your hands to do whatever you want. Um, Okay. And ask the question in the chat if any if um she's on your team. Um, but yeah, the secret is super. Don't watch it once. Like watch it once one night and then once again. Like it's not required, but when you watch it the first time, you're like, okay, cool. These people are like BSing me. You watch it again, and you're like, wow. Okay, cool. It's on Netflix. It's like got like a little like wax stamp to it. That's the secret if you're wondering like which video it is. And then if you have time Lincoln. after that, huh? It kind of looks like Abraham Lincoln too. That's like an old timey like letters, like an envelope stamp. 
um, has like an S on it and it says a sec like secret effort. But um, if you have time after that, like if you have no idea, like still like watch I'm Not Your Guru, it'll pop up in the suggestions after you watch it on Netflix. Um, and you'll just sit there and be like, wow, okay. Um, but yeah, just make sure you watch it because if you don't watch it, you can't do a dream board with us. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And those are fun. And those are what, like, really, really changed my business, too. We already have our green carpet house on there. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, Shannon, I'm not ignoring you or anything like that. I'm just going to, like, probably separately message you about it. Um, Libby asks, what was the name of the second movie you just said, Jamie? It was the something guru? I'm not your guru. Okay. Um, all right, so maybe I'll, I'll like start a post in our, um, boot camp so that you guys can like ask any questions you have, um, anything you want us to like help you work on, um, or what you're struggling with, any of it. By so, the way, I'm Not Your Guru does have cussing in it, um, he uses those as tension words. Um, it's all strategic, so if he starts cussing, I'm sorry. If you don't like cussing, don't watch it. Just said that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. I guess um, just, like, keep keep updated and post it in the group, and I'm really excited for this. I think this is going to change all your business, and I'm just so excited to see it. Um, all right. Well, have a good night, guys.